Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be taking a look at a new P.E.K.K.A. bait deck that I discovered online today and is actually working very well right now, guys, in Clash Royale. Right here is a 3.5 Elixir P.E.K.K.A. Wallbreaker Goblin Barrel bait deck. You have a ton of bait in here, Dark Goblin, Goblin Gang, uh, Double Wing Condition, Dark Prince can also sometimes bait out a spell by resetting that charge. Then you have the Magic Archer. The single strongest card in the entire game right now. Basically guarantee tower, uh, tower damage. Your opponent just cannot have any sort of reaction time to block it unless they do a prediction play. Uh, overall, just a beast of a deck. Uh, the win rate for this deck, insanely high as well. So, very, very strong strategy in Clash Royale right now. Uh, once again, guys, huge shout out to everyone using Creative Code Shane in their shop. If you want to support me and the channel, Throw in Creative Code Chain before buying Patch Royale, special offers, or buying gems out of your shop. It costs you nothing extra, and it's a great way to help support me and the channel. So, I greatly appreciate anyone using Creative Code Chain. Now, let's go in here, guys. I want to give a huge shout-out to my friend, Bebe, for introducing me to this deck. I also saw it on Ray LPI, and I saw the win rates, and I was very, very impressed. So, I had to give it a shot. Now, I'm going to hope he doesn't have anything for Goblin Barrel. As he just used his Barbarian Barrel. Bomb Tower Nato and Bar Barrel. Gonna be a Graveyard deck. Okay. We can deal with Graveyard. We can deal with Graveyard dudes. I could go Pekka there, but I don't know his entire deck yet. So I wanna chill for a hot minute first. He's got Knight, Nato, Bar Barrel. And yeah, there's the Ice Wizard. Likely going to be Poison. Magic Archer here will destroy that tower in addition to the Ice Wizard. Get some additional damage done. However, the downside is we just use our Graveyard Counter in the form of that uh, Magic Archer. But I do want to get a Goblin Barrel here. We know he's got Nade on his deck. So I can't exactly go... The uh, greedy drop with that. I actually used my, unfortunately used my thing a little bit too early there, guys. My um, my Goblin Barrel. The Dark Prince was unable to tank. If it would have tanked, we would have got some good damage done. But unfortunately, we were unable to do so. Which is unfortunately unfortunate. Right? One of these? Yes. Get to the tower. Get to the tower with the power. All right. So my Magic Archer geometry is not up to date, guys. We haven't updated to the new update for Magic Archer stuff, so we are <laughs> missing that right there. Wallbrick is here forcing out a bomb tower, hopefully. There it is. Dark Prince here as well. I don't think the Dark Oven outranges the uh, bomb tower, unfortunately. So let's go like this. He poisons that jazz. Dark Oven helps clean up a bit. So does the Magic Archer. Thank you, thank you. Let's get that P.E.K.K.A. down here, please. And we should be able to get this push defended fairly nicely. Do one of these. One of these. And one of these. What you got for me, broski? Go Pekka, go! Goblin stabbing like crazy! Goblins are still stabbing! The tower is still distracted! How is the Goblin Barrel still alive? That was absolutely insane. Please tell me we recorded that battle. We did. The Goblin Barrel lasted forever. Literally 3,000 years. That was absolutely absurd. I gotta use camera two today, guys, to show off my Space Station gaming shirt. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite shirt that I own right now. It just looks so sick. I'm going to go early wall breakers. I always split them up first play because it's a great way to get additional elixir out of your opponent unless they do that. And that kind of sucks. Nice. I could have gone P.E.K.K.A for that, but I don't like using that P.E.K.K.A too early. I kind of want to figure out what he's got in his deck first before committing a P.E.K.K.A out. I'm going to go DP action here. He might actually have a balloon. 
So we'll kind of stay tuned on the balloonage here. Balloonage or no? E-Dragon. I do not like seeing that. Yo, how did that goblin survive so long to get that tower? I thought that was a safe spot, guys. That sucks. That really sucks. King Tower activation makes this deck a lot weaker. Hmm. Lame. Lame sauce indeed. Well, breakies, assemble. It's going to be a golem deck, guaranteed. Guaranteed golem sauce here. There it is. And honestly, defending this golem here might kind of suck. Go Pekka here. Because the cannon cart plus all of his support behind that golem is going to tear through our Pekka ASAP. So, not really looking forward to defending this dude. Let's go. Come on. That Goblin Barrel was pure value, guys. Pure value. Let's go. Okay. I can deal with that. Edricking kind of sucks, but it's whatever. Okay. Do one of these. One of these. And one of these. What you got for that, broski? I can tell you what you got. You got a dead tower, sir. Thankfully, that cannon cart goes in front. Was waiting for that to go down. Cannon cart's dead. Golem should die before getting to that tower there. And so is the Golemites. And now we go hard here, guys. Now we go hard. Now we go like we just don't care. Go, go, go. Okay, no, uh, no, what do you call it? Lightning spell, that's what I was thinking of. No lightning spell in time. Unfortunate for him, but I'll take it. Uh, and then we need our next reward, which is going to be something here soon. But we'll do one more. We'll do one more. I think my beard matches this shirt pretty well. And I'm saying, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Only one shot for you, sir. Barrel back here, because hopefully he'll miss his log. Ah, uh, he misses one of the goblins. Doesn't matter, though. Guys, this kind of sucks. It's going to be a log bait deck. Disgusting. Who uses log bait? Seriously. Absolutely freaking disgusting, dude. Oh, and you block it with a dirt with a knight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Whoa, did you see the 360 no-scope out of that uh, 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 magic archer there, guys? That was insane. Alright. So the one wall breaker left lane got a fair bit of work done. I think he logged there, did he not? I think we saw some log action right there. He did. And he do. And he did. And we do. He did, and he do, and he did, and we do. I said he did, and he do, and he did, and we do. Yo, don't miss the tower, Magic Archer. Go back to Magic Archer school. If you don't know how to aim, go to school. That's what they train you for, Magic Archer. Guys, I'm so over my newbie cards. Newbie cards, newbie cards. What? Are they feeding you? He's gonna try and go here opposite lane. He does not try and go there opposite lane. Pro tip is delay your snowball a bit, guys. Don't be too hasty with your ball. Because you can get some work done if you don't. No! Let's go. Dang it. 
That sucks. That really major sucks. Let's do one of these. Ah, we cleaned up fairly nicely though, eh? Like, it wasn't a terrible cleanup. I'd say. Wasn't the worst cleanup in the world. Dude, get out of here. Infernal Tower, I hate you. I hate you, Infernal Tower. Hate is a strong word, but legitimately, I hate you right now. Dude, we're getting absolutely destroyed right now. This guy's outplaying us in any facet of the word outplay. Here we go. We missed the tower? Dude, why am I so newbie today? How did we miss that? We're surviving though, we're not dead yet. It ain't over till it's over, then it's over when it's over, guys. And y'all, if y'all are running with the overness of life. It ain't over till it's over, and then who knows if it's truly over after it's over, right? Who knows? If it's ever truly over after it's over. These are deep questions with Shane. These princesses are so annoying. Urgh. Princess! No! Why, princess? Why? I'm just gonna go boss the wall YOLO here, guys. I don't even care. I just don't care. Actually, that somewhat worked. Surprisingly, that somewhat worked. Balls to the wall again, guys. It worked last time. We'll try it again. Balls to the wall, guys. Go, go, go. Yes. One. Wow, we actually won that one, guys. We actually won that one. <laughs> GT, we got outplayed so bad. But we still won. We still won. We still won. I'm just looking up right now if Balls to the Wall is an acceptable uh, saying they can actually uh, say online without being demonetized. But nope, it's good. The context of Balls to the Wall is term used by pilots when accelerating quickly, the throttle is pushed all the way to the panel and the throttle lever, a ball actually touches the panel wall. Hence, Balls to the Wall. Okay, now the more you know. Now I'm safe. I was worried there that I was saying something bad, but I'm not. We good. So, we are going to go ahead here, open up my gold, which I don't need. Open up my chest, which is not going to give us the card we need. Told you. And the lightning strikes will not strike the card we need either, because lightning strikes are the epitome. Not epitome. Uh, is it epitome? No, that's not the word, word I'm looking for. The definition of useless. But we'll go into one more battle, because we are absolutely, positively crushing it right now. By the way, guys, if you have not unlocked the emote yet, make sure you follow me on Twitters and um, Instagrams and DLive. If you want the best opportunity of getting that emote. Links for all three are linked down below in the description. Dark Goblin, you better kill that furnace. Don't you dare not. Thank you, Dark Goblin. Protection is important. Dark Goblin. Oh, no. Not the mini P.E.K.K.A. No, 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 no. Pull it back with one of these. Is good play? I think he's good play. Alright. I don't know what he's got for spells yet. He's probably used a few spells that we haven't. He's got arrows. That's right. I forgot he's got arrows. Oh no. Mega Knight Night Witch. This is going to be in shame. Mega Knight, Mega Knight, what are they feeding you? Yo, graveyard into my Dark Oven. Yo, Dark Oven, kill this skeleton's nut. I'll protect you. I'll protect you, Dark Oven. Stay alive. Uh, 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 uh. Stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know I'm cringe, and I don't care. I just don't care. Because whatever. 
Yo, Magic Archer, if you wouldn't mind hitting that tower as well, I wouldn't mind that as if you didn't mind that, okay? If we both don't mind that, I wouldn't mind that, okay? Thank you. Thank you for not minding that. Wallbrick is here, forcing out, hopefully, a Furnace. Which then allows me to do this. Which he's then promptly going to snipe with something. Sore? Sir? Where is your Meganoid? Do one of these. Oh, I've actually defended that somewhat decently, but I'm still not happy with my performance. It is inadequate so far. That performance wasn't bad though, eh? Dude, what you doing? What you doing, buddy? Please go Mega Knight here. Yes. 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 Did y'all see that pro level gameplay at the end there? Let me know if you saw the, the little tricky play that I did there. I'll give you a few moments to answer down below if you guys feel you're smart enough. What I did, I knew he had a furnace down there, okay? And I knew the furnace was about to spawn out some fire spirits. So I went in Goblin Barrel, and then I went Snowball to destroy the fire spirits, and it actually worked. The Snowball landed first, destroyed the fire spirits from the furnace, giving the uh, Goblin Barrel the opportunity to destroy that tower. The only uh, dent that would have happened there in our plan would have been, uh, did I say dent? What's what's the proper word? Wrench? I don't even know. Was if he went arrows. We would have lost if he went arrows there. But uh, yeah, that, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. We, uh, let's see here. Mega Knight uh, Furnace, uh, Goblin Barrel Bait, Golem Double Ds, and Splash Guard. That's a pretty good set of meta decks to beat with this deck, guys. That's like, that's like a good way to test a deck. We fought Splash Yard. We fought Golem Beatdown. We fought Bait. We came up victorious. And then whatever this guy was rocking with, Pekka Graveyard, we destroyed that one as well. Or Mega Knight Graveyard. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with the performance of this deck so far, guys. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's do one more battle over here. We're doing very, very well right now against our dear friend Ultra. Who uh, is hopefully going to give us a free win here. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind the free win, Mr. Ultra. Okay? Now, with this kind of a starting hand, I do not want to go opening play. Goblin Barrel and uh, Wall Breakers are my two openers. Snowball is my only spell, so I don't really want to use it. And, um... Yeah. I kind of want to just chill, but I'm getting bored. So let's go DP at the bridge here. He's going to go... Uh, oh, he's got a DP of his own. Double DP action, guys. Double DP action. Not good, not good, not good. No, I wanted to go Goblin Gank! Oh, I'm a noob! I'm a noob! I'm the biggest noob! I'm literally the biggest noob! He's gonna have a P.E.K.K.A. of his own! I knew it! I'm the biggest noob! Please don't have arrows, please don't have arrows, please don't have arrows! Oh man, I'm officially noob sauce, guys. I want to go Goblin Gang there. We could have actually got some really good uh, value if I did actually go Goblin Gang there. Oh, that hurts, dude, that hurts. That's not what I wanted at all. Goblin Gang would have been so much cheaper to defend. 
Yikes, man. Major yikes, man. <laughs> oh, I'm annoyed now. My stupid, my stupid fat fingers. Shane, lose some weight. Lose some weight, Shane, you nub. Of course he's got minion horror, because why not? Of course he's got minion horror, because you know what? Why not? Go. He's going to nail that back, isn't he? Okay. Let's try over committing. I heard it works. We're going to lose by 137 health? Oh my goodness. Magic Archer, why? Uh, uh, why, Magic Archer? Why did you do that to me? Magic Archer, why? Why did the Magic Archer do that? I went all in. We needed one more shot. One more! Oh! Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Dude, dude, and dude. Literally, there was like four times there. If I didn't do that misplay, we would have won. Ugh, 130. All I needed was a little bit more damage. What could we have done differently there, guys, at the end? I know that first P.E.K.K.A. was a terrible drop. We took way too much damage to that first Balloon. Which really sucks. Like right there, that just, that sucked. We got no value for that P.E.K.K.A. He goes hard here. Mm. Like we did okay. Like he's got a huge lead here. 1400 health lead. We claw back into it. This was a great magic archer here, but he nails it back. We go goblin barrel there. We somehow defend all this. That was a good defense. We go hard here, which gets some work done. Uh, yeah, goblin staff a bit. Then we go magic archer here for his uh, stuff. Maybe no snowball here. Maybe no snowball there. We go uh, pretty aggressive left lane. He can't defend it. We get both Wahlbergs connecting. Then we go hard here. Like, look at this. 700 health, dude. Dark Oven goes down there. I should have went Magic Archer earlier. Should have went Magic Archer earlier. We go Magic Archer here, guys. Look at this. Magic Archer goes down. One. Two. Then he freezes it. We snowball it because we get greedy. I don't know if I should have went like something in front of the magic archer there. You know? Then he wakes up. Look at this. This this right here lost me the game. He wakes up. Look at his freaking arrow. That doesn't hit. Come on now. That doesn't hit. There's no way. It's touching the tower. How does that not hit? Come on, Clash Riel. Oh my goodness. It's literally touching the tower. How does that not hit? Do you guys agree with me? Is that touching or no? I'll zoom it in for you guys right now, okay? Just so you guys don't think I'm crazy. Can you see? Can you see? It's touching the tower. 
Let's make it bigger. Look at that. Okay. There is no way that's not touching the tower. Right? Where, um... Like, look at the edge. Look, look at the edge of that tower. And it's definitely touching. How didn't that count? Oh, man. That, that's... That, that's, a, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, dude. That's unfortunate. But, uh... You know what? What can you do, man? Let me just resize this for you guys. Get this back in here. Dude, this is taking a long time to resize this thing. Is that okay? That's cool, right? Dude, there's no way. It's totally touching that tower. And then we, we can't stop it. We can't stop it. We got no heavy spell. We don't have Goblin Brill in hand. There's just... Ah, uh, dude, that... I can't get over it. It was so close. Oh, feels bad, man. Feels bad. But you know what? We did pretty well. We did pretty well. I'm pretty happy with this push overall. Deck is a ton of fun. Go ahead. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you guys. 3.5 average elixir. Once again, if you don't have the Pekka emote, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on DLive, which is where I live stream. And uh, we can get you guys hooked up. Um, but yeah, guys. Throw in creative coaching into your shop. Support me if you want to. There's a deck. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Really, really fun deck. Uh, we just couldn't bust it up that last one. Yikes. But tons of bait. Uh, very, very fast recycling for a pack of deck. And just fun overall, guys. So, let's see the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to Clash Real Content. Thank you for watching. And we shall see you in the next one.